Hi, welcome to another episode of I Am Trans News. I am your host as always, Marana Beta, and today we're going to be watching a video about a trans woman named B. Um, warning, this video is a little bit triggering. Um, it was a little bit triggering for me, at least, because because um, the only person that knew B was someone who clearly i mean like she just blatantly like every sentence was was he literally like i'm like wow i don't think that b wanted to be represented as just a he as and just in the public you know i feel like even they could it felt like they knew something was wrong with the fact that they were being so blatant about it in even the newscast everybody was just like well just he didn't just he whatever ooh, 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 ooh. you know very disrespectful i feel like but you know um people don't like the videos that i talk in too much so we're not gonna do too much talking okay so just hit the like button hit the subscribe button and go watch the video it's a true tragedy. It's so heinous. It's ugly. It's violent. But we, as his friends, the ones that he has picked, we got to memorialize this. Tonight, new details on a murder deeply affecting the black trans community. Friends of Brandon Murray, known as B, are demanding justice tonight after a deadly shooting in Aliquippa. They're asking police to investigate this as a hate crime. Megan Schiller joins us now with the new details on the investigation. Megan. State police released four sentences on this murder so far, saying someone shot Brandon Murray to death inside her Aliquippa apartment. We now know Brandon went by B and identified as trans with some of her friends. And those friends now fear that this was a hate crime, another attack on the local trans community. Best friend Kia Reddick says the word fabulous first comes to mind. And, you know, he loved to dance. He he was a singer. He was a singer, but it, that wasn't his strong suit. But he loved to do hair, you know, nails, and he was just a fashionista. She always called Brandon a him, but knows she identified differently with other friends. They walked the LGBTQ journey together. Being a male my friend fought he he sacrificed he gave up a lot of things to become who he was today that's why she's heartbroken standing here looking at the life be built he worked so hard for it and i'm so proud of him and he knows that i am almost exactly one week ago someone murdered b inside this linmar terrace apartment in aliquippa i pray what was done in the dark come to the light Sisters PGH, the area's black and trans-led nonprofit, covered B's funeral expenses, saying to me that this is a major hit to the trans community. And with no word on any suspects, friends say this. He's out here. He's, he's out, out here. here. He's out here now. And he'd probably be looking at this, but you're going to get caught. You're going to get caught. You won't hop along. And the executive director of Sisters PGH tells me these attacks on black and brown trans are happening more frequently in our area, in her opinion. And news of this murder sends shockwaves of fear throughout the community. The organization is praying along with these friends that someone comes forward with information. Ken? All right, so that's the end of the video. Um, let me know what you think about what, what happened in the comment section below. Um... I'm going to give my personal opinion now. I just wish that they would have at least tried to use she sometimes. Or, I mean, like, at least in general. Like, I don't get the, how is somebody trans sometimes? And then they call and then they call her the best friend. And she's just like, well, he, he, he. Well, are they trans then? If they're a cis person and they're not, how, that make it make sense. That's why I'm like, it, um... I just thought that was really problematic and I didn't really respect the lady and that's just how I feel about that the the supposed best friend or whatever and you know the girl the news anchor she tried to say it one time you know what I'm saying she did say she one time but nevertheless uh, my heart goes out to be um I hope that someone 
uh, is found, you know, some suspect or some more information is found out. Like, they really didn't give that much information other than what you heard. So, um, I'll let you know if there's any updates or anything like that. And as always, I'm Novana Beta and this is I Am Trans News.